Good morning. Sitting here, it's another beautiful day in San Pancho. The sky is blue, there's not a breath of wind. It's absolutely beautiful. There's trees all around me, fruit trees, huge trees, birds singing. It's just this paradise moment for me. And so I thought I'd do a segment on how, where I stay in San Pancho and how I'm able to stay in these beautiful, beautiful area on a relatively modest budget. So we discovered San Poncho about a year and a half ago and ever since I discovered it, it checked all my buttons, it checked buttons I didn't even know I had and I've been back here every chance um, that I had since we discovered it. So this will be the, is this the fourth, fourth time we've been here? Um, and I intend to keep coming back here every chance I have and I eventually, when I retire, I intend to move here probably for the winters five months of the year whatever I love it that much so we're staying in the high-end neighborhood of San Pancho which is called Costa Azul it's on the north end of the town and it's a much uh, quieter area away from the the Puebla which is the town which is quite a, a hopping popular place lots of nightlife how do I afford to do that because I'm not independently wealthy I don't have a trust fund I work for a living the way I managed to do this is we stay in the guest houses that are attached to the million dollar homes. Now, not all of them have guest houses for rent, but enough of them do to make it totally worthwhile to do this. So right now we're staying in um, Las Olas, which is a very exclusive gated community. And the main house here is up for sale for 1.8 million US dollars. We're staying in uh, Villa, Villa Grenada, which is one of the guest houses. And it, we're in the same, we share the same yard and the same area. We have magnificent views. We have made service every day. And we're paying 150 American dollars for this place. Whereas in the main house, it's 850 American dollars. And there's, uh, we stayed in uh, some other guest houses, which I'll show you, which are equally as nice. And there's a couple more that I have my eye on that I haven't stayed in yet, but I do want to try. The reason why this place in Las Olas is so nice is um, it's right on the beach. The beach is just right over there. And another one that we stayed on that I'll show you later on also is right on the beach. And there's a couple other ones that have guest houses that are not right on the beach, but I think they probably have ocean views. Now, um, we've I book all my houses through a place called San Pancho Realty. And I'm going to leave the link below. And um, make sure you get San Pancho Realty. There's quite a number of real uh, rental agencies in operating in San Pancho, but make sure you get the San Pancho Realty one. That's the one I know. That's the one I recommend, and that's the one we've been staying in these fantastic homes through. And they've all been great homes, um, really well maintained, really good service, good maintenance staff here all the time. They're constantly cleaning and taking care of the place, and it's been a fantastic experience. So that's the one that I recommend. And um, so we're going to go and I'm going to show you around the neighborhood of Costa Azul a little bit and show you some of the other places that have guest houses where you can stay for a fraction of the cost of staying in, a, in, one, of the, in one of the big houses. Now what you can do, if you do want to stay in one of the big houses, you can get, because they're very large, you can get a party together, get a bunch of people together and stay in them. I think we may actually do that next November, get a group of people together and stay in one of the big houses. But um, if it's just the two of you, it's not really necessary. And honestly, the experience of staying in these little houses is... Is, is just fine because we're we actually are never really in the house all that much we're out all the time so stay tuned we're going to go out and i'm going to show you the area of costa azul and um, some of the other places that have guest houses where you can stay let's go so of course we're staying here in villa grenada this is villa papaya which is basically exactly the same i wanted to show you what it was like staying in one of these beautiful beautiful places in Las Olas and the other places in Costa Azul are going to be similar but there's nobody staying in this beautiful house right at the moment. The, um, the previous guest just left so I just want to show you what it's like. We've got this beautiful pool here and then up here we've got this, this glorious patio with this beautiful furniture. This, of course, is very expensive to rent if you've got a group of friends together or a large family. Absolutely a splendid, wonderful place to be. 
beautiful views. Gators all around, squawking over there in a hilarious way. And then over there you've got the view of the ocean. videos.